Ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to you all. In our last meeting, three months back, you had expressed concern about the falling oil prices. Unfortunately, the trend is continuing. Previously, due to excellent market and high demands, we had stepped up our production considerably. But that seems to have backfired. Cutting down production now seems essential, for which I expect your full cooperation. Understandably, Nigeria and Libya should be exempted from this. And similarly, Iraq will have to discuss with the Kurds. And all this we can discuss in detail right after my presentation. And I hope to arrive at a consensus with the slash rates. The burden of slashing will, of course, be distributed according to the current production and the market share. Coming to the second point, shale oil from the US has hit the markets more successfully than envisaged. It was expected that the production would reduce because of the high cost involved but they have been persistent and the low prices offer an excellent market for shale oil so i hope you will agree with me that it will be in our best interests to draw us into a conference and discuss a negotiation the drop in oil prices will have an impact on all its producers and hence i do expect the us to extend its cooperation other non opec countries like canada brazil and norway and more importantly russia will also have to be approached for their cooperation as they will also impact the market significantly in the near future however all said and done the us is going to pose a serious threat to us and even if we are successful in our negotiations they will remain a serious competitor needless to say our income and profits through oil production will take a setback due to this hence it is strongly suggested that while decreasing our production we also concentrate on developing our secondary and tertiary industries for example tourism tourism is proving to be an extremely profitable in investment in the uae and likewise saudi could develop its aluminium and coal industries and bahrain could further popularize its islamic banking so we may have to review our oil funded programs like free healthcare to reduce expenditure and we should also look into curtailing excessive spending in the economic and urban development once our profits stabilize all programs benefiting the public could of course be restarted the forum is now open for discussions let me emphasize that this is a serious problem concerning all of us equally and all points should be approached with an open mind setting aside internal competitions and differences thank you for your patient hearing